Hello PPL, I am going to show you quickly on a video how to do what you want to do. Um, so you have got this array of undetermined length, it could be 1, 3, 10, however many. You've got a compose action that contains that array, so let's just paste that in here and we've got 1, 2, 3 groups of emails. Because that is an array, we can use it in an apply to each, so let's do that and then add a compose action in here. <clears throat> I'm just going to put in, for now, item. I'm going to break this down a little bit so you can see what is happening. So if I test that, the output in the apply to each should be each group of email addresses. Okay, so that's our first batch, second batch, third batch. I'm going to modify this now and then I'm going to go root emails and I'm going to rename this to emails json. <coughs> Let's just test that. Okay, so now we've got exactly the same thing, but with a bit more structure there, which means we can convert it to XML. So if I go over to a compose, I'll call this emails XML, and I'll call this, I'll go XML, dynamic content, emails, JSON. Let's save that. Okay, so this gives us back XML, so we can go now to xpartha.com, get rid of that, paste that in there, and then we can build our string. So we are going to go slash slash emails, slash slash text, and that will give us the two email addresses that belong to that list. So if we go back to here now, we can add another action and it'll be a compose, and we can say expression, xpath, dynamic content, emails XML, and then put in our xpath. I'll just leave that called compose2 for now. So what that should bring us back with is an array. And it does. So then all we need to do is modify this to say join, put a semicolon there, update that, and then we'll call this recipients, save that. And then we've got those two addresses, those two and those two. So now we can just edit that, send an email, and then the two will be recipients. And that is it. See how you get on. Cheers. Bye-bye.